We continue today with the workbook. What is the Holy Spirit? And Lesson 281. What is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit mediates between illusions and the truth. Since he must bridge the gap between reality and dreams, Perception leads to knowledge through the grace that God has given him to be his gift to everyone who turns to him for truth. Across the bridge that he provides are dreams all carried to the truth to be dispelled before the light of knowledge. There are sights and sounds forever laid aside. And where they were perceived before, forgiveness has made possible perception's tranquil end. The goal the Holy Spirit's teaching sets is just this end of dreams. For sights and sounds must be translated from the witnesses of fear to those of love. And when this is entirely accomplished, learning has achieved the only goal it has in truth. For learning, as the Holy Spirit guides it, to the outcome he perceives for it, becomes the means to go beyond itself, to be replaced by the eternal truth. If you but knew how much your father yearns to have you recognize your sinlessness, you would not let his voice appeal in vain nor turn away from his replacement for the fearful images and dreams you made. The Holy Spirit understands the means you made by which you would attain what is forever unattainable. And if you offer them to him, he will employ the means you made for exile to restore your mind to where it truly is at home. From knowledge where he has been placed by God, the Holy Spirit calls to you to let forgiveness rest upon your dreams and be restored to sanity and peace of mind. Without forgiveness will your dreams remain to terrify you, and the memory of all your father's love will not return to signify the end of dreams has come. Accept your father's gift. It is a call from love to love, that it be but itself. The Holy Spirit is his gift, by which the quietness of heaven is restored to God's beloved Son. Would you refuse to take the function of completing God, when all he wills is that you be complete? Lesson 281 I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. Father, your son is perfect. When I think that I am hurt in any way, it is because I have forgotten who I am and that I am as you created me. Your thoughts can only bring me happiness. If ever I am sad or hurt or ill, I have forgotten what you think and put my little meaningless ideas in place of where your thoughts belong and where they are. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. The thoughts I think with you can only bless. The thoughts I think with you alone are true. I will not hurt myself today, for I am far beyond all pain. My Father placed me safe in heaven, watching over me, and I would not attack the Son he loves, for what he loves is also mine to love. Amen.